Hello, and welcome to the first video in the Getting Started with the STA UHD Producer Plugin video tutorial series. The UHD Producer Plugin, made by Sonic Tier Audio, is a new panning plugin that allows for flexible panning and monitoring of immersive formats that Pro Tools doesn't directly support. In this first video, we'll take a look at the plugins window, break it down into sections, and give you a good starting off point for using this powerful production tool. The UHD Producer plugin is an AAX native plugin for Pro Tools that can be instantiated on any mono, stereo, 5.0, or 7.0 track. Let's start with a mono track to keep things simple and straightforward. I'm putting the plugin on the last insert, and we'll explain why I'm doing that in the next tutorial. You'll see the plugin showing up as a sound field type of plugin, and you'll see that it loads just like a normal plugin would. If we click the insert assignment, the plugin window will open up in the first view that we'll look at, the pan window. The first thing that you'll notice here is the panning field, which is a square 3D space. Imagine this as a square room that you're viewing from the ceiling. The top of the square is the front wall, and the bottom is the back of the room, similar to Pro Tools own surround panning view. In specific locations, you'll see blue squares. These are your channel positions, indicating the position of the different speakers. Since the UHD Producer plugin supports formats from stereo all the way up to 11.1, the number and placement of these channel icons will vary according to the output format. You'll also notice that some of these icons are larger than others. Larger speaker icons indicate channels that are closer to the ceiling of a room, in other words, height channels, as shown here in a 10.2 output setup, which includes a left height, right height, and rear height channel. By clicking this icon, you can change your panning field view to a circular panning field. Again, this is a mono audio track, and the red icon that you see here is the signal position for a mono channel. Here's what the pan window looks like on a stereo track with two channels, and on a 5.0 track, and even a 7.0 track. When it comes to positioning, you can use your mouse to drag your signal to any position you like. You can also use the position knobs to move your sound on three axes. X, or left to right, Y, front to rear, or Z, the height axis. Again, this is similar to Pro Tools surround output window, and these knobs are especially useful when you want to move the signal along a straight line. Now, if you look at the lower corner right here, you'll see a button with an arrow pointing to the right. When we click this, we'll see the expanded view of the pan window, where we'll see other production-related parameters. Starting at the top, you'll see rotation controls, now, rotation is a fairly deep feature that will have its own tutorial focus in video number seven. But for now, we'll just say that when using the plugin on any multi-channel track, you'll see at the center another icon. That's the rotational axis, and these four knobs allow you to control how the channels can rotate around that axis. Next is a cluster of controls related to mixing. Let's take the important ones one by one. You might be wondering what the Roman numerals here represent. They will tell you what kind of track you're on with a one being a mono track, two being a stereo track, and three being a 5.0 or 7.0 track. To the immediate right, there are two knobs that will send signal to the different LFE channels that are supported by the UHD producer plugin. This plugin supports stereo, 5.1, 7.1, 9.1, 10.2, and 11.1 outputs, so the second LFE level knob would only pertain to a 10.2 output. Just below these, you will see solo and mute buttons, and last but not least, a volume slider. These are important controls due to the signal flow that comes into play when using the STA UHD producer plugin, something that we'll start talking about in the next video and again in the ninth video in this series. So that's the pan window, but there's another window that we've got called the mix window. Just click the mix button at the bottom of the expanded view to change over to the mix window where we can control the signals as they're summed together over multiple tracks. One interesting aspect of the STA UHD producer plugin is that all of the instantiations in your session communicate with each other to a certain extent, and this is best shown in the mix window. Here you're seeing two plugin windows on two different tracks, one a stereo track and another a mono track. Notice that when I change any setting in the mix window of one track, that change is mirrored on all other instantiations of the STA UHD producer plugin. This is a very good thing and ensures consistency throughout your mixing session. Though we'll be getting into the mix window in greater depth in future videos, let's take a high level look and see how the different sections will affect your mix. At the top, you'll see your meters. 
Now keep in mind that this is a summing of all signals from all tracks on which there's a UHD producer plugin instantiated. Think of this as a window into the world of the STA summing engine. Just below that, we have the matrix section. On the left-hand side, we have the channel names, which will change based upon the output format you have chosen. To the immediate right of this, you have the ability to delay, again, globally on all tracks, the signal of any specific channel as it goes to the STA summing engine. This might come in really handy in situations where the timing of your monitors is an issue, but remember, these changes will be printed to your final mix. The grid area allows you to flexibly assign the output channels from each track to the input channels of the STA summing mixer. This is something that we'll go into in greater detail in the third video in this series. Just below the grid area, you'll see individual channel solo, mute, and level controls. We also have the ability to save and load mixer configurations and also the ability to activate binaural headphone monitoring, something you'll learn more about in the fifth video in this series. Now the mix window has an expanded view, just as the pan window does. In the mix window's expanded view, there are only two things. The play menu will give you the ability to render your mix when you're done. We'll talk more about this in the sixth video in this series, but basically you've got one mode for when you're in the production phase called play mode, plus two different ways of rendering your final mix. And finally, you have the ability to change your output format at any time in the mixing process. Remember, the changes that you make here will be mirrored throughout all of the STA UHD producer plugins in your session. As you can see here, changing the output format in the mix page of one track will change the speaker layout in the pan window of another track. And that takes us to the end of our first look at the STA UHD producer plugin by Sonic Tier. Other videos in this series will look more in depth at how to set up your Pro Tools session, different features, and even some tips and tricks. To learn more, visit sonictieredu slash learning.